How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Mr. Donnie here once again. This time we're going to take a look at electron configuration of ions. So our objectives will be to determine the electron configuration of ions. So rules. Here are the rules. When electrons are added to an atom, they're added to an empty or partially filled orbital with the lowest available value for n. So basically it's the they go into the lowest principal energy level. So here's an example. If I had fluorine, here's its configuration, 1s2, 2s2, 2p5. If I wanted to add an electron, where's it going? The lowest available value for n. All right, well, I can't put it in the first energy level because the s one's full. I can't put it into the 2s because it's full. So the lowest possible one it can go into is the 2p. So the 2p goes from 2p5 to 2p6. That's it. All right. Now, when electrons are lost by an atom, they are lost from an orbital with the highest numbered principal quantum number, or the highest n first. So here I have lithium. It's 1s2, 2s1, and if I had to minus, if I had to lose one electron, it's going to come from the highest numbered principal quantum number. So I'm going to have to lose this 2s1. Boom. There you go. And now lithium ion is just 1s2. So now if I take a look at iron with its electron configuration as AR3D6, 4s2. If I were to lose two electrons, where am I going to lose them from? I'm going to lose them from the one with the highest possible quantum number. So the four, the 4s2, I'm going to lose those two electrons. Boom. They've gone the way of the dodo. They're gone now. So now the configuration is just AR and then 3D6. If I were to lose an additional one, from iron, well, all right, well, the lowest possible one I can lose it from is the third energy level, the D sublevel. That's the highest principal quantum number three that's still available, and I could lose one from it, so now I get 3D6 or 3D5. So it may seem weird sometimes because if we're taking a look at iron, for example, as we're adding protons and electrons, uh, we're doing it in a different order than we're removing electrons. So we remove electrons from the 4s and not the 3d. So even though we're filling the 3d as we increase the atomic number, uh, you know, why aren't we losing electrons from the 3d then? If we're, you know, as we're going left to right across the periodic table from mn to fe, we're adding electrons to 3d. Why aren't we losing them from the 3d? Well, as we increase an atomic number, we're adding an electron. That should be an electron and a proton. But when we're ionizing them, we're only removing an electron. It's not just a reverse process. So when we're going left to right across the periodic table, we're adding a proton and an electron. But when we're talking about ionization, we're just removing an electron. We're not messing with the, uh, the protons. So the easiest, easiest electrons to remove are going to be the highest principal energy level. There you go. So what would the electron configurations be for the following? Feel free to pause it, try it, and then press play. Okay, welcome back. So again, if I'm going from calcium to calcium plus two, I have to lose two electrons. So this is the electron configuration for calcium. The highest principal energy level that I can remove electrons from is the fourth one. So I'm going to lose those two. And I'm just going to end up with the same configuration as argon. Now chromium, if I want to go from Cr0 to plus three, I have to lose three electrons. Well, where am I going to lose them from first? The 4s1 or the 3d5. Well, if I'm losing electrons, I got to go to the highest principal quantum number, which is four, and I got to lose that one first. So I lose one there, and then I still have two more to lose. So I end up with ar, and then the 4s is completely gone, and I removed a couple from the 3d. So now I'm left with 3d3. There you go. Now sulfur. It's become a sulfide ion, minus two charge, so I'm gaining two electrons. Well, where are they going to go? They're going to go into the lowest possible available quantum number. So, so far, three is the only ones that are possible. I can't put it into the S sublevel because it's already full. So I'm going to have to put them into the P sublevel. So I'm going to end up with neon brackets, 3S2, 3P, and then I have to add two electrons to it, six. So now that P sublevel is full, and I've placed my two electrons. That's what it is. So summarize. Determine the electron configurations of ions. There you go. See you in class. Goodbye. Okay,